my previous video, I tried three new products from Trini London, one of which, the BFF Rebalance, was a little too dark for my skin tone. So what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make myself look a little better? Firstly, <laughs> because it's cold out, I would, if I was going out, I would wear a turtleneck so that I wouldn't really care if my face color was a little different from my neck color. That's number one. Secondly, I've actually received more products. <gasps> more products! These are products that I already know and love. For example, uh, the Benefit Industrial Strength Concealer in the color number one and the Benefit Cakeless Concealer in the color number three. These are a perfect match for me. The Cakeless Concealer I like to wear under the eyes and the Industrial Strength Concealer I like to wear over blemishes if I get them. Today I'm not gonna use this one, but I will show it to you so that you guys see the brand new. And I love that it looks like an eraser. Their packaging is very cute. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, so here's the Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer that I've talked to you guys many times before about. It's on my YouTube channel, it's like everywhere. Uh, this is just my favorite go-to concealer. It has been for years, years. Now, the number three Keiko's concealer is a liquid concealer. And again, this is a perfect match for me. And you see my skin right now is darker because I used a darker uh, foundation, like a, I would call it a foundation uh, from Trini London, right? And this is my older one. I got a new one because it was on sale. This was my Black Friday stuff in case you guys missed that part. This is... Black Friday haul. So I'm just going to do what I usually do and use my normal skin tone color to kind of help underneath my eye area to brighten here. So though it doesn't match with the foundation color, it will still kind of brighten underneath my eyes and it will work because I'm also gonna use my Jane Iredale foundation on top, but strategically watch. Here is the Jane Iredale foundation in the color Warm Silk that I wear and have worn for over a decade. I think it's 13 years now. So I'm just gonna take, I have this a Morphe blush or powder brush. Mm -hmm. Added on, but you see I'm just doing it in more of the center of my face and under my cheekbones as well so that the darker shade of foundation can kind of like reverse contour or what I'm doing right now is I guess reverse contouring with a lighter shade and then it will match my neck better as well you see I saved it I saved it. This is the new Trini London eyeshadow color in Aphrodite that I started with in my previous video. And I'm going to continue on with my eye look. I'm going to use some of my go-to eyeshadows. Like I love the color Kid that is discontinued so from MAC. Uh, so you, if you want something similar, you can get the color Malt, which I've already gotten. It is the closest shade. And so I'm just gonna Go in, this is usually my like go-to crease shade, transition shade, on days off, it could just be like my eyelid shade. I really love a good neutral color. And, I, and today I'm going to apply it all over my lid as well. And into that darker Aphrodite on the outer corners of my eye, that's going to kind of sculpt my eye and lessen the drama just a little. I'm getting kind of like a smoky look. It is slightly darker in real life uh, than it is coming across on camera, but it's pretty, pretty nice. You see? Right, now I'm going to go in with a, a brown, a slightly browner shade that is called Era from MAC and I'm going to continue adding that into my crease and on the lid so just to up towards my crease but not higher and on my lid and into the purple aphrodite 
that we already laid down first. Usually I start with lighter shades and then go towards darker shades, but today I was trying out this new product and I got really excited and I didn't do my normal order. And that's okay too. There's really no rules for this stuff. You can kind of do stuff whenever you feel like it. This eye is looking darker just because of the lighting, but they're the same color. <laughs> it's just the shadow casting um, a slightly darker appearance to that eye. Like it's so pretty. Okay. And, and, and like beautifully blended. Okay. In real life, it's beautifully blended here. I don't know what, what these shadows are doing, but in the mirror, I'm like, yes, honey. Yes. Okay. Now the darker foundation color doesn't look so dark, right? And then the the purple on the outer edges of my eyes also doesn't look so dark. Everything is coming together. It's all about the blending and the combining. Everything can work out in the end. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, like I'm obsessed with these Laura Mercier uh, caviar, caviar stick eye color. And the color is Kiss from a Rose. It's my favorite color. I just am like obsessed with this. Oh, and it lasts all day, like all day long. So I'm going to put it in the center of my eyelid. I can't describe this color and it will not translate in on video. It's much more gorgeous in real life. Okay, so I kind of put it up and then focus here like that. It just kind of defines the lid on here and catches the light beautifully. Another product I got, <laughs> since this is, you know, a makeup look with new products. This one I might even try. Charlotte Tilbury, okay, and it's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. The packaging is very, very lovely. It's all just paper. And then you open that up, okay. And here it is. It's a very stunning compact, probably the fanciest compact I own. Let's open it up. Ta-da! Okay, those are, and it has a full size or pretty good sized mirror in there. But like the colors are amazing. I'm gonna tell you why. Here's my foundation color. You see how the highlight is basically my foundation color, but a little more shimmery. And the contour is cool. It's not a warm contour because a contour is actually supposed to be cool like a shadow, right? And this is my favorite contour color ever by the brand Dolomia. And it's an Italian brand. And then this one is very similar, but a bit lighter, meaning they're both cold and you want it to be a cold color. I'm very tempted to keep this. Should I try it? What do you think? Should I try it? While I cannot decide <laughs> on whether or not I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Bonds and Glow, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very fancy. I did get another product and it is from Urban Decay and it is a lip pencil. It is the 24 seven glide on lip pencil. I got the color naked. I also want the color naked too and I want the color liar, but the website didn't have them. I wanted a pencil that is long wearing. So let's see this beautiful, beautiful color. This is just a gorgeous pink. Are you ready for this? Okay, it's slightly lighter than my lip color, which is nice because I wanted a shade that was a bit nude because I want to contour my lips with a darker color. And that darker color today is gonna be Subculture from MAC. You guys always ask me what I'm wearing on my lips and it's always a different combination of a few different products. And you notice it's not at all what's going on with my eyes, but I like it. I like it like that. And I have a favorite lipstick from Maybelline. It's an oldie and a goodie and it's uh, discontinued, but I still got like a bunch of them and will wear them until forever. But um, a dupe for this would be Max Syrup. 
I still prefer this texture and everything about it. So this is Maybelline. It's called That's a Movie 210. And it's my favorite. When you guys compliment me on my lips, I'm usually wearing this. Or another one from NYX. <laughs> Maybe I'll share it in another video. I don't know. Here are the lips. They're a bit cool toned to go with the slightly cool toned blush and the cool toned eyes while the skin is warm. Should we bronze? I turned off the light, the sun came out. So here is the final look. Without any contouring. We don't know if this could look better with some extra contouring. Uh, maybe from this palette. Let me know. Let me know if you wanna add to this look.